All right, I'm live. Cool. So, my camera fucking sucks. But I just got to say, man, I think the number one thing that people are missing in their lives right now during this pandemic of 2020 is the fact that a lot of people aren't fucking interested in having long-term goals and just doing shit that they fucking hate. I fucking hate running, yet I still do it. I hate biking, yet I still do it. I hate reading, yet I still fucking do it. Why? Because I know that it's going to make me better down the road in the future. It's not about the here and now. It's about the future, what's going to happen at the end of the road. Because a lot of time, I know for myself, I've been focused on just the, just the present, just being impulsive. And that's how I am. I'm an impulsive motherfucker. But... If you want to get ahead in life, if you want to be the best version of yourself, I'm telling you this right now, you need to do A, budget your time, B, do things you hate, and C, learn from your failures. If you do, do those three things, time management, do shit that you hate, and learn from your failures, my God, you will be fucking successful. Because I remember when I was studying for my CPA exam, I failed my first section, right? And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck do I do now? I'm stuck. I can't get better. I can't get ahead. The whole world is going to collapse. But guess what? I got my shit together. I went out there and I created new study strategies. I went out there and learned how to master that exam. And I did master that exam after a few months of, of pushing myself, of just going out of my comfort zone and doing as much studying as I could because I hate to study, but I had to study because that was my goal. Once I had made that my goal, God damn it, I wasn't going to fucking give up. And that's what I want you motherfuckers to do. Go out there and start making your goals, start doing time management, start working on yourself in terms of doing shit that you hate, lifting weights, reading books, acquiring knowledge, doing just massive, massive amounts of action. I think that's what Tony Robbins talks about in his books as well. You got to go out there and do fucking action, man. Like if you're at home watching YouTube videos and, and, and just learning shit and just reading shit, that's not gonna ha that's not gonna do shit for you. You gotta go out there and do shit in the real fucking world because once you start doing things in the real world, you start getting feedback from your actions and then you can recuperate and do better. Do better in executing the action again and again and again and again and again. It's all about repetition, guys. This is the repetition game. You know, with these fucking it comes to girls, comes to your work life, comes to your professional life, whatever it may be. The more you do it, the better you'll get. And the more shit that you that you hate doing, you do, you're going to be fucking amazing at things that you don't like doing. For example, when I was growing up, I hated fucking public speaking. I joined Toastmasters. I started loving public speaking. And I discovered my natural talent with people and leading people and being a leader. Like right now, I get uncomfortable if I'm not a fucking leader in my organization. Because I know I have the skills to go out there and be the top guy in the fucking company. And that didn't come naturally to me early on, like five, seven years ago. That skill was developed. From the time I was 18 to now that I'm 26, right? I learned those skills. It didn't come to me in my fucking head. I learned them. I worked on them. I practiced. Repetition. You see this? You see the themes there, right? It's not just me talking out of my fucking ass. It is experience. It's uh, just learning the ropes. It's all about doing, man. It's all about action. If you guys can take action... You're going to be 10 times ahead of your peer group. You're going to be 10 times ahead of every, what everyone else is doing. Do the opposite of what, what everyone else is doing. If everyone watches a certain TV show, if everyone is watching a certain movie, if everyone is watching, is eating a certain type of food, do the opposite, right? Do the complete opposite of that and you will succeed. Not because I am saying that, but because fucking history is saying that. Peace.